What's up everyone? My name is Jason Turley. We're back with more Pico CTF. In the last video, we did the obedient cat challenge. Super simple, super quick. Check it out if you haven't. We're looking at more general skills category. Let's look at the Python wrangling challenge. So clicking on it, we see the description. It reads, Python scripts are invoked kind of like programs in the terminal, right? So the bash command line or the shell command line that you type in your commands. Can you run this Python script? And it gives us a link to download using this password to get the flag. So there's three things that we can download. Let's look at the hints. It tells us how we can download it with wget web get request and look at the man page for Python. So I'm gonna right click, copy link. I'm gonna go back to my terminal. Let me clean this up from the last video. Let me make a new directory called Python wrangling and cd into that let's start downloading our files that's the first one let's grab this password password.txt and lastly there's this flag file grab that let me clear the screen, do ls tuck l, make sure everything downloaded. Let me run file star so I can see what we're working with. ende.py, it's a Python script. It's ASCII text, it's an executable. We have flag.txt.en, and then we have password.txt. Let's cut out the flag. All right, I guess it's encrypted. Right, because all the flags will start with like Pico, CTF, and then curly braces. This doesn't have that. Let's cut out password.txt. All right, so this is the password. I don't know if that's encrypted or if that's just the plain text password. Can we run that Python file? Let's say Python on that. We get a usage statement. It wants us to do tech E or D in file. I'm gonna take a guess. Maybe E and D are for encode into crypt. I'm not really sure. So let's do tech E on the flag. Please enter the password. All right, we saw that earlier. I'm gonna hit control Z to background this. Let me cat out uh, password.txt. FG to go back to the foreground. Let me paste this in. We get this. Is that the same as the flag? That's interesting. Let me open up tmux. That's weird. We'll do that every time. Cat password. Let's rerun that Python. Paste this in. Hmm. Yeah, so it gives us the same result every time. That's weird. Let's open it up in Vim just to see what we're looking at. We see the different modules being imported. We see that base64 is being used in something called Fernet. So maybe this is the cipher, the cryptographic algorithm that's being used to encode it. Right here on lines eight through 12, we see the usage statement, some examples. Oh, okay, let me, let me try tag a D to decrypt. Clear the screen. Let's decrypt the flag. We were encoding it. It wants the password. All right, open up this. There we go. Slap that in there. Oh, and it worked. So I was using the wrong command line flag, the wrong option. I was encoding it when I should have been decoding it. So we can grab that, slam this in here. That wasn't bad. Let's look at that source code again. Let's look at what's being used to encrypt it. Tack E for encrypt. We see here it asks us to enter the password and that's being stored into a variable called sim sala bim. That's being base64 encoded. And then they're doing the Fernet cipher on that base64 result. Or if we do tag D, it again asks us for the password. It base64 encodes that password. 
and then does Fernet Cipher on that. Interesting. So there you have it, guys. There's how you solve that challenge, Python Wrangler. It gives you everything you need, so it's pretty simple. You enter the encoded password, which decrypts the flag, and prints it out for you. Not too complicated. And a cool thing about it is you don't really need to know all that much about Python or know all that much about cryptography for this challenge. It is in the general skills category, so that does make sense. This is just to get comfortable using the command line, using Vim or a text editor to open up the file and read it, getting comfortable running programs. So nice and simple. As always, let me know in the comments below if you found a different way to solve this. Take it easy and see you guys in the next video.